get to cruise through two times. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Arriving in Wildlife Safari in Winston, Oregon, it's clear that this is a place to see animals from your car. And I don't mean your neighborhood animals. You're transported quickly to the fauna of other continents. One look at these twisted horns tells you you're looking at animals from other parts of the world. Traveling to Africa is not likely to happen for me, but after a short drive from Grant's Pass, I get to see a herd of grazing zebras. And I'm not the only one capturing this African wildlife seen on videotape. I find a new use for a sunroof. At least that's the way it looks through our windshield. I learned where Texas Longhorn cattle came from, and I was thrilled to see this herd of yes, buffalo, even if they were being stalked by a bear. It seems that the least shy of the animals here is the ostrich. This is why visitors are urged to roll up their windows if approached by wildlife. Even if they do seem to have a goofy smile on their face, or their beak in this case. These animals entertain just by being themselves, but learning also takes place here. Eyes on learning, if not hands on. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Well, they are all here and likely to be seen from the safety of your car. Or you can get closer in a sort of cage on wheels. We were in the cage and the animals on the outside were looking at us. We were looking closely at Wildlife Safari's educational outreach. They host camps for kids in the summer and one of the camp activities was feeding the giraffes. These wildlife encounters allow people to get closer and learn more. I chose giraffe feeding to demonstrate one major adaptation seen in giraffes. I did not know that we would be feeding the giraffes. This was the same activity that the camp group had done earlier in their week at Wildlife Safari. Our arrival was greeted by two giraffes of different sizes, each wasting no time in approaching us. We had two video cameras working, getting different angles of the action. The bigger of the two giraffes reached in first to be fed lettuce. When you feed giraffes this way, you learn to look up, their long necks holding their heads skyward. Watch what happens here if a taller male giraffe gets fed more lettuce. Now the smaller giraffe gets offered some. Listen to the reaction of this three-year-old as her mom feeds the giraffes. Life Safari, Mate is a Rothschild, so they are much darker with those dark brown spots and the caramel in between their spots. And then Erin is a reticulated, so she has those bright orange spots with the bright white channels in between her spots. It's because these males do fight for dominance. Erin, you're just a little... <laughs> She's like, nope, I'm going to steal it right out of your mouth. These guys have very long tongues, as you can tell. They have about an inch of tongue for every foot they are tall. Oh, wow. So hers is about 14 inches long. Mace is almost 18 inches long. It's so smiley. Yeah. For those wanting to learn, the park staff share their extensive knowledge of the animals. They don't sleep a whole lot. They usually sleep max about four hours a day, but they break it up into about 15 minute increments. Now the large male turns and walks away, leaving only the smaller female to enjoy the green snacks. Hi there. She seems to take note of me and my camera. This isn't food. Ah, uh, that's food. There you go. Perhaps tired of having the food snatched from his mouth, the large male walks to the barn. Giraffes' long necks allow them to eat leaves too high on trees for other animals to reach. We also learned that giraffes have excellent eyesight. They can spot predators a long way off. So these eyes also help them survive. And then there's the long tongue. 
Crew member Alex McGlasson trained his camera on the large male eating hay without competition in the barn. Suddenly, he has a closer encounter than he'd bargained for. Hi. I don't think you're close enough, Alex. Good thing I've got the wide angle on there. I mean, hi. <laughs> she wants you. Here's the same action from the point of view of my camera. Hey. <laughs> she wants your camera. Oh my goodness. She's very curious. <laughs> That's not food, pretty girl. <laughs> so are you sure? <laughs> A bit disappointed at the taste of Alex's microphone, she turns away. Back to the barn.